Good afternoon, everyone. I'm awful sorry I can't join you today in San Francisco for this very special holiday luncheon. But as you might guess, the Senate's in session, and so I'm in Washington. I'm a very big fan of the Salvation Army. Year in, year out, no organization I know of does more for those in need, and that's been very true in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Salvation Army has offered a helping hand to San Francisco's most vulnerable citizens for 125 years. And today, you've come together to thank those who make it possible to provide the shelter, the food assistance, the educational outreach, and rehabilitation services that are so vital to this community. Chief among them are the wonderful George and Charlotte Schultz who are being recognized today for doing the most good. Now, George Schultz is one of America's most dedicated public servants. He has served as Secretary of Labor, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, Secretary of the Treasury, Chairman of the President's Economic Policy Advisory Board, and as Secretary of State for the Reagan administration. He was one of America's best Secretaries of State, in my view. And in 1989, George Shultz was awarded the Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor, truly a big deal. And my pal Charlotte has served as San Francisco's chief of protocol for seven mayors, myself included. And in 2004, she was named as chief of protocol for the state of California by our governor. 30 years ago, she organized my wedding, and it still lasted, and we've been buddies ever since. During her tenure, Charlotte has been responsible for receiving and entertaining many of the world's leaders, kings and queens and prime ministers, from Queen Elizabeth to Zhao Ziyang of China. And in 2007, she was named honorary commander of the Royal Victorian Order by Queen Elizabeth and I was privileged to be present when she received that honor in the British Embassy here in Washington. The Schultzes are not only one of San Francisco's most distinguished couples, but also one of our most generous. They have supported the Salvation Army for the past three decades, and they contribute to a number of civic and charitable organizations around the city and the country. Now, one of Charlotte's signature contributions to the Army was the establishment of the celebrity bell ringing event, and many of you have been out there. Year after year, Charlotte has gathered some of our city's most iconic, at least that's what they say, residents, including the Beach Blanket Babylon Christmas Tree, the Oakland Raiderettes, the 49er Girls, Sourdough Sam, and Lucille to ring the bell and encourage all San Franciscans to give back to our city's least fortunate residents by supporting the Salvation Army during this holiday season. Now one year she even roped me into being a bell ringer and I've never quite recovered from it. But there's no question that the work of the Salvation Army is needed more than ever in today's very tough economic times not just around the holidays, but every day of the year. And if one wants to make a contribution, I can really assure you that that contribution is going to be well and carefully spent. So keep walking the walk and talking the talk and ringing those bells. So my warm congratulations to the Salvation Army and to my pals, Charlotte and George. Have a great lunch.